Hello everybody, today I can find missing sides of similar triangles by creating a proportion, meaning a straight up proportion, the candy corn or hill sass, and then solving my quadratic equations by factoring, that's your Mr. X squared. A lot of prerequisites for this lesson, you need to know how to do with candy corn, hill sass, uh, straight up putting corresponding sides on top of each other, and you need to know how to solve quadratic equations by factoring trinomials. So let's go through three examples. Let's start with number two. I see a candy corn problem. Let's put the information into the problem. AD is two, DB is X plus one, AE is X, EC is X plus six. Candy corn, bases separate, the bases are not involved. If there are no bases, put the top over top, the side over side, don't have the sides, and the bottom over bottom. Again, you need to know how to do candy corn problems to do this lesson. Now that I have my proportion, I cross multiply and solve. 2 times x plus 6, I'm going to write as 2 parentheses x plus 6, x times x plus 1, x parentheses x plus 1. I distribute. From here it's all algebra. x squared plus 1x. Mr. x squared, he wants to party before he can party. All of his friends have to come over. Minus 2x, minus 12, minus 2x, minus 12. Notice I lined up the x's. I lined up the like terms. 0 equals x squared minus 1x minus 12. Party time! Bubbles factoring. There's your bubbles, your two sets of parentheses, x and x. First sign comes down. Negative and a negative is a positive. We need to multiply to 12, so I can list my factors of 12, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. I can also use my calculator trick, uh, which I'm not seeing. Let me just pause this. Okay, my calculator trick, I want the numbers up multiplied to 12, so I go to y equals. I type in the number that I want them to multiply by. Uh, 2 divided by x, I go to my table, and this lists all my factors of 12. Which pair subtracts to 1? 3 and 4, bigger number goes first. Equals 0, I'm not done until I have x equals, so I set them equal to 0. I set x minus 4 equal to 0, I set x plus 3 equal to 0, I get x equals 4, I get x equals negative 3, essentially the sign just changes. That should be good enough in this course, but next year it will not. Now I can't have a negative length of a side, or a negative length of anything, so I'm generally going to cross out, reject my negative value, although it technically could be negative, as long as the length isn't negative. x equals 4. Now that I have x equals 4, it's asking for AE. AE is x, so AE is 4. So it's basically just combining candy corn problems and Mr. X squared. That's literally what this is doing. It's nothing new, just combining those things. Let's take a look at number 3. Triangle HAI is similar to triangle CRE. So I'm going to draw two triangles. I'm going to label them HAI and CRE. HA is X, CR is 6, HI is 8, CE is X plus 8. And I create a proportion by putting my corresponding sides on top of each other. So I'm going to put X over 6. I'm going to put 8 over X plus 8. I cross multiply and solve, x times x plus 8, I'm going to write for now as x times x plus 8, 8 times 6 is 48. I distribute x squared plus 8x equals 48. 
Mr. X squared, he wants to party. All of his friends have to come over. Nothing's going to combine here. I'm looking for two numbers. Party time bubbles. X and X. First sign comes down. Positive and a negative is a negative. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 48 and subtract to 8. It's a lot of numbers that multiply to 48. Again, you can use your calculator trick. 148, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. Which of those pairs subtract to 8? 12 and 4. Bigger number goes first. I set each factor equal to 0. x plus 12 equals 0. x minus 4 equals 0. Get x by itself. I essentially switch the sign. Can't have a negative distance, so x equals 4. The question is asking for CE. Well, CE is x plus 8. So CE is 4 plus 8, which is 12. And one more time, if you want to do the calculator trick, in this case, you want the numbers that multiply to 48. So you go to Y equals, you do 48 divided by X, and then you go second graph for your table, and that will give you all your values. All right, one more that has a little twist. Number seven, I see Hill Sass. Let's put my information into the picture. AB is X minus one, DC is five, AD is four. I know this picture is Hill Sass. To determine if it's Hills or Sass, is there an L involved or an A involved? There's an L involved, so I use Hills. H. This whole thing, 9 over L, X minus 1 equals L, X minus 1 over S. There's two S's. Since I'm using the left leg, I'm using the left seg, so I use the 4. Now when I cross multiply and solve, X minus 1 times X minus 1, for now I'm going to write as X minus 1 times X minus 1. 9 times 4 is 36. To do x minus 1 times x minus 1, again, we did this in um, a previous lesson. It's an algebra 1 skill. I do my box method. x squared minus 1x minus 1x plus 1. When I combine like terms, x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 36. Mr. x squared, he wants to party. All of his friends have to come over. x squared minus 2x minus 35 equals 0. Party time! Bubbles! x and x, first sign comes down. Negative times a negative is a positive. Multiplies to 35. 1 and 35, 2, no, 3, no, 4, no, 5, yes, 5 and 7, subtracts to 2, 5 and 7, bigger number goes first. I set each factor equal to 0, x minus 7 equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0, x equals 7, x equals negative 5. I can't have a negative distance, so I cross that one out. x is 7. The question is asking for AB. AB is x minus 1. So AB is 7 minus 1. AB is 6. So they're kind of long. Again, there's really nothing new for this lesson. We're just combining Hill Sass and candy corn problems and similar triangles with solving quadratic equations, Mr. X squared. More of a practice lesson putting those together. That's it. Practice it. Bye. Bye.